Ladies, you're looking lovely. Your promos are looking fabulous. Welcome on to the show from me, Rishi K, and everybody who's watching, listening. Uh, you know, Bhavna, Mahip, Neelam, Seema. Good to see you guys. I hope the families are safe and healthy. Just one by one, assure me of that. <laughs> Thank, yes, you. All good. Good. Thank, Thank you. All good. Thank you. All good. Thank you. Everyone's really good. Thank you. Okay. Come. Let's have some fun now. Instead of the mundane stuff that, you know, movie stars do, because you guys are beyond movie <laughs> stars. You're far cooler, <laughs> which is what is your character and how's the show like and where are you guys doing and where did you film and things like that. I just thought we'll, we'll do our own version of quiz contests. Far more cooler, far more fun. So are you guys up for it? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes. Let's, Let's go. do this. Okay. So uh, this, I'm, I'm literally going to give you about 15 seconds and the quiz master's decision is final to answer these questions. And I'm going to split you into two teams. And the first team is team Seema and Neelam. I hope you guys are feeling good about this partnership. <laughs> I'm feeling and really positive. Good. <laughs> good. I like the positive energy. So Seema and Neelam shall answer questions on Bhavna and Mahip. So that's the that's the deal here. And team number two obviously is Bhavna and Mahip, and they shall answer questions on Seema and Neelam. So you are not allowed to interrupt. If I'm saying team Seema and Neelam, Mahip and Bhavna will not interrupt or even give clues okay. and things like that. <laughs> Otherwise, you shall be disqualified. So here okay. we go. Let's go with team Seema and Neelam. Question number one for team Seema and Neelam. Which college in Delhi University did Bhavna go to? Okay, I know this. I know this. SR, what is it? SRC? SRC? We discussed it yesterday. Listen, I know the yesterday. Yeah. No, I know this. It's something with I know this. She's got these the initial is not going to get you the answer. The initial is not going to get you the answer. But I have to tell you this, Seema, you're very close. I'm quite impressed. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I know this. Move beyond. But I don't know S the whole. Up. I don't. I don't know the full. I don't know the full. Name. I don't know the whole. Know okay, you know what? S. I'm going to. Shri I'm going to give Shri this. Shri Ram College. Shri Ram College. S R C C. Of course. I'm going to give. I'm going to give it to her. Come on, Bhavna, please make the grand announcement as to which educational institution you went to. <laughs> <laughs> you all laugh at all these things of mine so often and you all have forgotten the name. It's Sri Ram College of Commerce. Seema, you were no, right. Like, <laughs> Good job. And an A Seema. student, huh? an A S B Com student. You want to add on that, yeah? So, yeah, we know that. <laughs> but but well done. Well done. SRCC, the Sri Ram College of Commerce in the in Delhi University. Okay. Uh, let's go now to team Mahip and Bhavna. Yeah. Mahip and Bhavna, your question is, who was Neelam's hero in her debut film, Javani? Um, we just just... Oh, well <laughs> done! We just <discussed, laughs> yes. Good job. Break off the block. With the Bollywood. <laughs> yeah. Well done. You've discussed this. My bad. So it's one all now. Back to team Seema and Neelam. Name one other actress who featured in the Ila Arun video with Mahip, the video called Nigori Kesi Jani Hai. One other I know actress. This. Uh, was she an actress? No. Uh, 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 I Anu, think she was Anu, a model. Anu, no? Anu, Anu Wow, your GK is pretty Kutur? cool. Very well done, Anu Kutur. <laughs> yes. Mahip, Seema, actually, you want to give out the answer? Maybe you can tell us about the other actress too. <laughs> yes, Achla Sachdev and Anu Kutur. Yeah, and the trio looking all lovely and beautiful. And Elaji just rocking it in that particular song. Super stuff. <laughs> so it's 2-1. Let's see if you get this back now. Team Mahip and Bhavna, let's go, go, go. What was Seema's Fall Festive launch of 2019 called? The name of the theme of the Fall Festive collection. <laughs> was there a name to your collection? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Animal resort. <laughs> I don't know. Resort wear, fun beach wear. I don't know what did you call. I don't know. I don't know this for sure. Bhavna, you said. You I said I'll be very good questions. with the old Bollywood films. I said. I don't. I didn't even know Seema gave names to her collections. 
Well, on Instagram, she's <laughs> named it. <laughs> on Instagram, are you sure she's named it or her social media team has named it? Yeah, now, that is a big, big question. Team. That is a yeah. big, big question. Seema, do you know this? You want you want to take a guess on what your social media team is? She doesn't know. Do you want to take a guess on what they named you? Qualify this question. She doesn't know the answer herself. <laughs> no, no, I'm a goldfish myself. When it comes to these things, I've completely forgotten. Well, they call it deception. <laughs> For what reason, we don't know. <laughs> so that's what it is. Yeah. Deception. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Since Why since deception? you say, I, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to actually let that question go because, yeah, because to yeah. your credit, you said it was done by your social media team. So let's replace yeah. that question. Yeah. So that question is disqualified. In which car did Seema and her brother Bunty drive off to Lunavla with off late? Mm -hmm. It's a luxury car. So ladies, Maheep and Bhavna, you want to you wanna answer that? This is simple. This is a sit-up. Uh, Bunty drove off with Mini Cooper? What is the... Ah, well Mini done. Cooper. Close. Yes. Mini Cooper Countryman, right? Is that the one, Seema? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Okay. You know, I have an Let's elephant's go. memory. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay. Let's go back to Team Seema and Neelam. Who designed Bhavna's wedding outfit 22 years ago? Manish. Which designer? Manish, Manish Malhotra. Manish, Manish. Manish Malhotra. Well done. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Okay. Easy. Team Mahip and Bhavna. What did Neelam play in Kuch Kuch Hota? Easy peasy for you too. VJ. Uh, VJ. VJ, well Video done. Yeah. And her name was <laughs> now Neelam. That, Neelam, that, show. Neelam. VJ Neelam. Neelam show. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move to the next round. You guys are all neck to neck right now. This one's called Millennial Lingo. Lingo that if you haven't picked oh. up on your own, you should have picked up from your oh. kids. Okay. Thank God Let's Tina go. is in my team on this one. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know. The, I know the basics, guys. <laughs> And right now, really but you better have learned something right. from Shana and Jahan. <laughs> okay, millennial lingo. Pressure, what does pressure. Seema Neelam, what does she's woke, W-O-K-E, mean in millennial lingo? She's like, woke. Uh, like she's, she's really cool. Like she's... And really with it. How do you... Yeah, like she's, she's very. Really yes, weird. that is absolutely weird. correct. Uh, you know, if she in back in the day for nineties kids, it used to be she's with it. Now she's woke. So you know, you're having a moment, oh. socially aware. She's cool. She's with it. So she's woke. So well done, millennial lingo for Mahip and Bhavna. What does snatched? You look snatched. Mean in millennial lingo. <laughs> you look thin. Like snatched, your waist is snatched. No, doesn't matter. Give it another guess. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a, uh, it's a compliment. <laughs> it is a compliment. It is a compliment. I mean, it's actually very, I could give it to hot. you because it's not so much about thin. It's more about attractive. Fit. So when you say you look snatched, means you're looking attractive. Not necessarily thin, because then you go into body shaming territory. So that's very dangerous oh, yeah. in this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to stay away from that. <laughs> okay, let's go back to millennial lingo for Siva and Neelam. What does keeping it 100, keeping it 100 mean in millennial lingo? Uh, keeping, it keeping it 100. Um, keeping it top of the line. Yeah. No, keeping not it at all. Perfect. Keeping it. Not at all. Really, this keeping is a new 100. one. Keeping it on. Can I just message Nirvan? <laughs> <for the second? laughs> no, yes. that's cheating. Okay, that's I'm, cheating. I'm sorry. No, you know, you don't get it. You don't get it. Basically, it means being true to yourself or keeping it real. Yeah. So, ah, basically, if you put in, real. if you keep it real, why do, why do you keep people get mad when you keep it hundred? So you know, you've kept it hundred, but ah. people are are going mad so that's oh my the way god <laughs> yeah intense uh, not that millennial way, not lingo way. long way to go maheep and bhavna millennial lingo what does sus mean in millennial lingo s-u-s -S? uh when like you're suspect? suspicious 
and you're suspect like and you're she's, she's uh, suspect I'm, I'm sorry. absolutely yeah. correct in good old fashioned lingo you used to say you know you suss him out or suss her out but that's not what millennials yeah. mean they yeah. mean her sources are sus that means something suspe yeah. suspicious or suspicious. suspect well done yeah. ladies awesome <laughs> and uh you, you, you reach out to the netflix team for your prices because i ain't got any <laughs> i wish we had those wonderful hampers <laughs> that Karen hampers, gives away on his show yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go now so teams are dismantled now this one's just uh you know individual questions to you guys this is on your kids bhav now let's go with you first what song did Risa sing at the Sobo House show, her Academy of Singing Coaching performance? The name of the song and the name of the artist. On stage. You were a really proud mama, but the song and the artist. Bhavna, what happened to your elephant? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, I blanked on this one. <laughs> you need yeah, you put it on, up on Instagram, no. such a proud mom. <laughs> No, because she's, uh, one second, was it the Billie Eilish song? Nope. It's Amy Winehouse's You Know I'm oh, No Amy Good. Winehouse. And she did such a great job. Yeah. Such a great job she did. Awesome. There's some serious talent in there. Okay, Maheep. Amy Winehouse, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's so Amy Winehouse, You Know I'm No Good. Maheep, uh, Shania assisted in Gunjan Saxena, Kargil Girl. There were four assistant directors in Toto. In fact, Shania has even put up a picture of her sitting next to the screen at a screening theater with those four names. Now, I don't want you to mention all four names. One of them is Shania. Name one other person who was an assistant director. And again, you've shared that. <laughs> <laughs> one other assistant director on Gunjan Saxena Kargil Girl. But I mean, if they're not friends and they don't come home, I can understand you don't know all their names. But I'm guessing maybe you met one of them. No, I didn't meet any okay. of them. I'm sure. Looks like uh, this is going to be a tough round, which is good because the earlier one, you got everything, you guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, Sonal I, Bhardwaj. I give up. I give up. <laughs> so, Sonal Bhardwaj, Rohan Sanctis, Alka Bhandari, and Shania Kapoor assisted on Gunjan Saxena, Kargil Girl. Well done, girls and guys. I mean, them, not you. <laughs> Neelam, uh, you know, your daughter's uh -oh. little. So, a sport that Samir played with your daughter Ahana recently. A sport. Table tennis. Yes, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Always Thank time to rejoice God. when the kids take up a sport. Awesome. <laughs> Seema, Nirvan did a Corona safety stay indoors social service video with a famous Bollywood star. Who was the star and where was the video shot or filmed? Ooh. Coronavirus, stay indoors okay. with a famous star. Uh, he, he did it with his uh, uncle, with his chacha Salman Khan, and it was filmed. Where was it filmed? Farm. At the farm. Well done. Yeah. Ladies, awesome. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now the next one is I'm going to give you a, a, a situation, and each one of you, of you is going to react to this particular situation. It's cliched, but then that's what uh, some parts of life are. They are cliched. And there's, there's great variety in answering cliches in a different manner. So that's what we're looking for here. A hot guy comes to your table. All four of you are sitting there. And he picks you or asks you, Bhavna, to go on a date with him. You agree. But the option is up to you. Where do you want to go and what do you want to do? So hot guy, date, you are going. Where do you want to go and what do you want to do? I don't know how well he speaks, right? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I would like to go to a bar where there's music for a drink. Okay. So at least yeah. I can show off a bit that I'm sitting with a hot guy at the bar. <laughs> yeah. And and if and if if the conversation isn't interesting, there's always the music to fall back upon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I was asking. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Neil, Neelam, let's go for this. So. Uh, you've you've consented to go. Where would you go, and what would you like to do? Hot guy on a date with you. Well, listen, uh, because it's um, a date, and I don't really know the guy very well. I think I would ask him to take me to the movies, 
and uh, eat some popcorn. So I don't have to interact with him and, uh, you know, I've not let him down and uh, to converse with him. Just watch a movie, get it over and done with. <laughs> None of these answers, answers are going the spicy way yet. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, but you know, I, I thought it was incredibly sensitive of you to say you know, take his feelings into account so that he doesn't feel bad. Okay, let's go with Mahim. So, hot guy comes to the table, you decide to go where and what? Well, I agree with Bhavna. If he's hot, then I obviously want to show him off. So, I'm going to go <laughs> somewhere where I'm going to make sure my friends are there. And they're like, who's he and what's going on? <laughs> uh, so I probably to a restaurant and I'm a big foodie. So I make him feed me also. <laughs> yeah, that's but cool. That's about good, yeah, good old that's fashioned about chivalry it. with food. Yeah, fine. With Seema, food. Hmm. Uh, with food. <laughs> so hmm. I think I'd create a bit of a scenario. I'd make one of the girls through a party and I'd take him there so I could show him off. And then if he was not happening i could dump him and just enjoy myself with my friends <laughs> that is so cool I, no amazing choice. yeah i i need some buffers <laughs> nice so from the naughty quotient we now move on to the emotional quotient so one common question on your kids and uh, you can react i know i know neelam again your your daughter is really small but we're presuming when she gets a little older who or what kind of a person would you like your kid to date who or what kind? I mean, you can take an individual's name, but if you're not comfortable taking an individual's name, you can just say what kind of person. You know, some people want a guy with a sense of humor. Some people want a guy who gives respect to elders. Some people just say, you know, you should take care of her, whatever. So, Bhavna, who would you like or what kind of a person for your kid to date? Honestly, I think with her, I, a sense of humor is like the most important. But having said that, I, because I wanted to be happy and enjoying and laughing in any situation, but I think she should definitely marry someone like her father because he's absolutely wonderful husband. But I don't know if she should date somebody like her father. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? He's a terrible, <laughs> he's a terrible boyfriend, <laughs> but he's an excellent husband. <laughs> That is a revelation. But but you're so true. I mean, there are so yeah. many guys who are great boyfriends and they really end up being lousy husbands. And they and they say yeah. they say so themselves, you know. So that yeah. is that is a revelation. Wonderful. I'll like on to that. Neela, who or what well, kind I, of person would you like her to be? Yeah. I would want the guy to be first of all funny, okay, and lighthearted. You know, take everything with a pinch of salt. Don't think take things seriously. And I think he needs to, first of all, respect my daughter. I think that's the number one thing. Um, also, yeah, respect her family as well. And uh, yeah, someone who's just lighthearted and easygoing. Okay, let's come to Mahib. Who or what kind it's of person very, would you like? To yeah. It's a very, very deep question, you know, because I've got a list when it comes to my daughter <laughs> of what the boy I'd needs to tick him out. Love, I'd love to hear that I mean, I mean, we'll need another hour on this because he has to be perfection for Shania. Otherwise, nothing less will do. Otherwise, I'm kicking him straight out. Kick his butt. <laughs> uh, yeah, kick his butt. Uh, no, I mean, look, the main thing is that I want a guy who's going to keep her happy. And, uh, you know, that's very important in the, this day and age with these everyone is just things you know ships are breaking like biscuits is that the line yeah that Seema auntie uses yeah so you know uh someone solid i don't know how else to put it someone solid dependable and solid and of course just somebody dependable and solid and good looking and humor and whatever um, but you know would, you, would you like Can him? To, would you like him to call you auntie, auntie or Mahip? What's what's auntie well, or Mahip? I, what, I, what's for you? I, no, I would. Uh, no, I'd like him to call me Mahip for God's sake. You know, <laughs> not auntie. I really, I just can't tolerate that. And yes, Neelam, you're right. He has to live in June next year <laughs> because. <laughs> 
If it's town, I'm just, it's too far. I can't handle it. <laughs> you can't handle it. And, and all of yeah. you are in agreement. No aunties, right? It's got to be your name. Whoever no the guy or the girl is. No aunties at all, for sure. Awesome. I mean, look at you guys. You look a million bucks. Who, who would say that in his or her right mind? Okay, Seema, you, you want to take that? What kind of girl? Um, uh, how, what kind of person? For my son, uh, she needs to, I think for me, a woman needs to be... Um, a strong independent woman for sure and most importantly she somebody who has empathy and loves animals i think she has to love animals wow that's interesting so because yeah. you guys are, are a family of animal lovers yeah a whole my whole family both sides are obsessed with animals and so is my Beautiful. son to be honest he's yeah yeah, and a lot of people also say that, you know, how you react to animals is how you eventually react to humanity. So, you know, it's a, it's it's a telling comment. It's true. So cool. It actually Lovely. teaches you empathy. So, yeah. I love those responses. Thank you so much. Okay, last one. Common question. And let's see all your differing answers. Who, apart from this gang, would you like to go on a trip with? And why? So, you're not allowed to name your the fabulous panel that is on here apart from you the the other three who's that one person you'd like to go on a holiday with and why do you pick that person bhavna let's go with you um a friend you mean another friend it could besides be anybody the... a friend a friend somebody from the family besides these three could even be I your partner like I like to and I love going on a holiday with my business partners who are also my friends is uh, Dolly Sidwani and Nandita Mehtani because um, it's always work and pleasure with them. We have a blast whenever we've gone out. So I'd love to take a holiday with you too. <clears throat> so cool. Wonderful. Neelam, who else apart from these fabulous three? Well, I have to be honest, okay? And I know people are going to laugh at me. But I've just started watching, because of our show, I started watching the Kardashians. I would want to go on holiday with them in those private planes, those fancy hotels. I want to you be with You stole my girls. answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's, that would be quite the life, yeah. With them. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. It's crazy. I, I want to be with those girls. Great, great answer. Maheep, who other than these three would you like to go with? Could be a hypothetical holiday, a trip, or somebody in your circle. I can choose my daughter, right? Of course you can. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be an mo emotional mommy and say that uh, Shania, New York, or just imagine us, Fifth New, or Soho, having a blast, sitting down with coffee, with our shopping bags all over us. <laughs> I mean, yeah, my girl. That's so sex in the city, <laughs> except there is mom yeah. and daughter. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Seema, you want to take that one, please? Who would you like to go okay, with other than so, these three? I mean, Neelam stole my answer because the Kardashian clan would be my number one choice. Since I've, I mean, if I had the opportunity, but if uh, I were to choose amongst the people I know, it would be Amrita Arora and Malaika, uh, Amrita Arora Ladakh and um, Malaika Arora because uh, they're my gal pals as well. And we always, always, always have a blast together. We're like-minded and I can be myself and we do silly things and really let our hair down. So yeah, they would be my awesome ladies pass. ladies yeah. you're lovely thank you so much for hanging with me and i can't wait to see your show the fabulous lives of bollywood wives and uh, more power to you big ups to you and thank you for for patiently answering thank all my so questions much. bye thank see you. you this was a lot of fun bye, bye. this, this was really one of the best bye. really this was really amazing fun. this was really yeah. a blast really i loved this one <laughs>